shuffles closer to you, forming a tighter circle. Elders loom over you while the smaller adults crouch low. Your surroundings grow shadowy and dark. Wait, wh wh what's happening? Or do your part in the ceremony of adulation. I guess do our part, even though I don't know what it is. The other monsters hold you in some respect. 10 out of 100 possible points. Hey, good for them! Someone calls you clever. A roar of approval rises from the crowd. You knew it! All the monsters in the circle begin to hum, growling, hum, growl, and sing. It's a, it's a traditional serenade to the Snake Moon. <gasps> Dr. Snake Moon. We can join the serenade or figure out a counterpoint and impress them requires cleverness. That's obvious. Clever monster. Oh, well, there's a, there was a dice roll. Oh, we won, I think. What happened? Impressive. Everyone cheers you as you improve the song in an entirely new way. We could accept their cheers or now to compose a better tune, which also requires cleverness. Let it ride. Well, you know, in for a penny. Yep. Shabam! Oh yeah, it happened again. You whip up an, ex an extemporaneous melody that rocks them where they stand. The monsters ooh and ah, some of them are humming along the new tune. They'll be humming it for days. Now then. Oh yeah. Look at all them stats. Oh, Derp has a drawing. <laughs> ooh yeah. Oh man. It's like a crazy amalgam of things. Why do you have things. a t-shirt, yep, monster? <laughs> I don't know. As Devex, she saw Giop monster there today. You are an adult now. You'll grow stronger over time, but your personality is no longer as mutable as it was when you were young. Onward to adulthood. Okay, we have we have options. We can politic with monsters or explore the whale mist well i mean our our cleverness seems to imply that you know we'd be we'd be great playing the political game we should be monster president mm -hmm. let's politic the greatest monsters of all oh man look at these icons thanks opa monster <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Geop, Geop Monster is a part of the uh, GOP. Because Geop, GOP. Cough. I. But. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Although. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said farting monster. <laughs> Let's do. <laughs> Do farting monster. <laughs> Monsters are gathering around the skull pole. <laughs> they invite you to dance with them. Skull pole? Dance or decline, but watch them dance. I'm gonna say skull pole? What's skull pole? Yeah, let's get some clarification. A few monsters die without dissolving themselves in the communal spawning pits. Selfish ah? bastards. Other monsters save the heads of deceased and hang them on the skull pole. Skin and flesh turn slime, eventually leaving only bone. Ah. So from now on, I just noticed it. I, I wasn't sure earlier, but if we ever see an option that has question marks, that's like a harmless explanation. So what do you think? Are we gonna dance? Are we a party monster? Or are we just gonna sit back and watch? Hell yeah, we're a party monster. I am a fiend for a party. The only problem is, you've never done the skull dance, and now everyone is watching you. We can wait for someone else to dance, then imitate that monster, slip away without making a scene, or begin to dance. Just dance, man. Just, Just dance. dance. Yep, shake your groove thing, g -up monster. You move close to the skull pole. Dance fast! Thrash around like you just don't care! Apologize for your ignorance, then dance slowly, or try to show some respect to the skulls. How does one how does one twerk respectfully? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get through that. Show respect the skulls. 
Excellent. You dance slowly and somberly, not quite sure what to do, but doing it with dignity. When you finish all the other monsters, howl with approval. Okay. Politics some more, I guess. What a you twerk slowly and somberly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Monster fucking the rock, monster fucking the rock. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That drawing. All of Omen is a buzz. Elders glare angrily at everyone, then look back at the broken sign of town gate of the town gate. You look down at the little piece of sign you're holding and blush. Wait. What did you do again? And yes, apparently we broke it. Which one? <laughs> Wait, what did you do again? Coming back from a hunt, you were so full of high spirits that you jumped up, slapped the sign. And you slapped it just, just a little too hard with your claws. Yeah, monster, oh, so you klutz. Say, yes? Blistery spots the bit of sign you're holding. Hey, don't tell anyone you broke it. It'll get fixed. This will all blow over. It's just an ill wind that blows and doesn't... Uh, that blows nobody any... an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Hmm? Bygones will be bygones. What's she going on about? Blistery is often accused of thinking she knows everything. This includes human cliches. All of them. Blistery says, I can take care of this. Look, I take a bit of the sign. I can take a bit of the sign, too. I can slip some into Varric's hair when he isn't looking. Nobody ever believes him, since he's always lying and stealing things. We say, no, come forth and admit your accidental crime or stay silent. She got, yeah, monster. it, she got monsters not going to frame an innocent monster. All the gathered elders scowl at you. They take turns chewing you out, which for monsters is more literal is a more literal expression than you might expect. Ragged and bloody, you creep back to your hovel to heal. Ouch. You take solace in the fact that your honor is intact. You messed up, but you told the truth. And everyone will remember that. Okay. Politics some more, or do you want to explore the whale mist? We've, we have plenty of time, by the way. Uh, let's check out what's in the whale mist. <gasps> snake! Oko-san. There's a snake. I feel compelled. Snake. Snake, snake, snake. You take the lead on a hunt in the whale mist, but you've become separated from the group. Suddenly, you catch sight of something. There! Where? Within that thicket? Oh, within that thicket. Rumor has it that an especially large, clever snake tricked Nash Nash. Hmm. Tricked Nash Nash, biting her, and made her sick for days. It's right there, waiting. Watching. Call everyone over and get out of here. Or oh my God, you, it really is Dr. Snake. Or you've beaten and eaten snakes before. Time to eat another. Eat you think it's time to eat that snake? Eat, eat some snake. Yep. Chomp, chomp. Purely in a literal sense. Yep. You slowly creep up on it, sharpening your claws. Suddenly, you stop print in the dirt is clearly from Nash Nash's foot, and that's definitely dried monster blood around it. We could lure the crafty serpent into a trap, so it can't bite you or use yourself as bait. Be the trap! Be bait. You're a brave Geop monster. He's brave. Or we could be very, very crafty, which may involve another monster getting hurt. Oh no. What are you yeah, thinking? Be bait. Yep, we're going to be a brave monster. After a warm afternoon in the forest, pretending not to look around, 
you begin to or after be, hang on a second let me reread that after a warm afternoon in the forest pretending not to look around you begin to yawn you wait for what seems like ages maybe this is too subtle we get a group and look for it or stay the course make the snake come to you well we are a patient monster let's stay put the snake does come to you that that wakes you up. Um, the snake does come to you that wakes you up fast it drops on you from an overhead from an overhead tree branch and you catch it with your claws impaling it so it can't wrap around you in its coils arg or ooh that poison has quite a kick arg arg you let it bite you a few times, counting on your strength to keep you alive, and indeed, the snake dies before you pass out. Yep, that was that, I guess. Okay. Okay, what do you want? Politics more or explore some more? Ah, drinking. You should definitely explore a bit more. Explore a little more. Okay, go ahead and call out to which icon y'all are thinking. How about the sword and the stone? Is that a stone or is that a log? Ooh, or it's a sausage. Oh! Sword and the sausage. You find a red hood and a basket in the middle of the forest path. A human house is nearby. Funny, I never noticed it before. There's a white picket, friend, picket fence out front. Creepy. Stay away. Circle the pretty little house or take the hood and basket home. Yeah, be careful. A red hood. That could be Elminster. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What are you all thinking? Um... <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe you should... I want to investigate the house. Yeah, I'm curious too. Let's circle the house. There's a great deal of blood in the yard, along with a half-dead wolf coughing weakly. Kill the wolf, or ask the wolf what happened. Yeah, that wolf monster is your bro. What's up, buddy? What happened, wolf? Woodcutter's friend, you can't trust them. Beware their axes, even worse than knives. The wolf finishes dying. Oh, bow your head and respect her. Take the carcass and eat the wolf. Or take and eat the wolf carcass. Now, bow your head and respect. It's pretty me. morbid. We're uh, we're an honorable, honorable yeah, monster. Yeah, let's not fuck the rock this time. You're not sure if you're respecting the hum the human capacity for killing or the wolf's perfectly time last words, but. Before you can come to a decision, you've grown bored. <laughs> you take and eat the wolf carcass or be on our way. Recycle him into slime before he can change <laughs> his body to defeat you. Eat the wolf. Eat wolf hongo. Yep, hungry for wolf. <laughs> you haul a strangely heavy carcass home, and Elder points, at, points out a sewn-up gash down the wolf's belly and says... It was good work. Take credit for the woodcutter's surgical precision, or admit it's someone else who cut the wolf open. There's no real reason for us to lie. Someone else cut the wolf open. Oh, is impressed with your honesty and, and says so. You open the gash to find stones inside the wolf. How odd. I am all about this game with rocks and stones. Who really knows how to tickle my funny bone? <laughs> oh, let me see. Let's politics more. Oh man. What do we got here? What are y'all thinking? Yeah, politics. And I think. Spider. Yeah. Spider. Spider. Today is the day of the Spinner 500, the big spider race. Winners are regarded highly by all around town. Let's do this, or let's not. I think the. <laughs> I think the choice is obvious. Let's do this. But your spider hurt her leg this morning. What should you do? It's a noble race. Watch with your spider. Cheat. She's normally the fastest spider in the world. 
even playing the even the playing field or may the best spider win enter yours unaided what do you think want to watch with our spider Yours unaided. That sounds like the most logical, I think. Out of 13 entries, your spider comes in 14th. A beetle joins the race in, la in the last lap. But at least you have your honor. Okay. <laughs> Let's politic one more time. What do we got here? Hmm. I see a rock. One rock. You sit with Nash Nash and Gobclaws on a tattered red blanket, eating cookies and talking about artifacts. What are artifacts? Artifacts are human-made objects. Many monsters collect them. All the garbage cans and omen were collected from one human bus stop. Some artifacts are interesting, and some can be dangerous. Okay. You sit with Nash Nash and Gobclaws, blah, blah, blah. Let's continue with the discussion. Now, Gobclaw sighs. I really like artifacts, but I want a nice big collection, but it seems like I can never find any good ones. You and Nash Nash exchange glances. Glance! Nash Nash runs a claw along the handlebars of her little scooter. Wait, oh, that's a scooter we let her have. You both know some good spots. We tell Gobclaws about the good spots or keep mum. You can help her out in other ways. Let's share. There's plenty of human stuff to go around. A little friendly monster right there, waving. Let's share. You open your mouth, but gasp as Nash Nash kicks you hard. Ah, why? Nash Nash whispers, that'll be less stuff for us. I don't care if you have less stuff, but if I do, you're in big trouble. She pokes you with her claws to make her point. Keep the secret or tell her anyway. I don't like being pushed around. You guys? Heck no. No. Sorry, Nash Nash. Gobclaw sticks her pincers, hap clicks her pincers, hap oh, I oh, that's right, because claws. Oh, pincers. Ah. Gobclaws clicks her pincers happily, like a maracas, I imagine. She does a little dance of thanks. She scuttles off the woods to check out the places you describe. Ooh, what about Nash Nash? Nash Nash makes good on her promise of big trouble in the form of a thorough drubbing. You crawl black to, back to your home, exhausted and bleeding. I don't like this Sundari monster. Every monster is so terribly Sundari. So terrible. Also, we are perfectly honest. We're, like, entirely honest. Wow. Yeah. Let's go explore some more. Let me see. What do we got here? We have goat. Oh. Ooh. Goat! I like that scrape goat. Let's look at the goat. A squirrel hops into a pool of sunlight, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to bury nuts and make something of itself. Ayo. You drop on it from you drop on it from a branch, grab it and twist its head off. Delicious decapitation. Ah, G pig. Yep. I mean uh. <laughs> A young wolf suddenly leaps out in front of you, snaps a squirrel out of your claws and runs off, laughing and barking. Wolves can bark now? Is that only dogs? It's true. Turn we bark. turn the tables on the wolf or chase the wolf into the bushes. Turn the tables. I'm Twist thinking. The wolf's head off. <laughs> Turn the tables. A second squirrel creeps up and pokes at the discorporated head of the first squirrel. Oh. You grab the first squirrel and you grab the new squirrel and chew on it for a little, thinking you could lure the wolf closer with the squirrel or show everyone an omen. You're smarter than this wolf. I figure, I, figure, I figure they're both the same, but let's lure. You dangle the squirrel over your maw, waiting. The wolf tries to steal it as planned. You slash her with your claws, and she flees, having learned not to mess with you again. Okay. All right. Nice. Let's see, let's ex what was another icon under here we, we could try? 
How about the duck face monster? Let's do that. <clears throat> hmm. You scoop a big fish out of the forest stream, and as you're about to bite into it, it says, Wait! Wait! I'm magic! I can grant you a wish! Huh, sounds legit. Let's believe the fish, or dispute this spurious claim. I've read enough fairy tales to know where this is going. Yep, I think he's floundering. Should we debate this fish? Yeah, tell him that's Or we Or are we legit? I think you're you're having me on, Mr. Excuse fish. Excuse me, sir. There there is no such thing as a magic fish. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. All you all I wish for is something to eat, you snarl. This fish realizes what you mean as you bite into it. <laughs> Owned. Nice. <laughs> I'm a magical fish. Big whoop. She was going to eat me alive for sure. Yep. Uh, let's go back I to politicking. Let's let's go for let's let's go for the the oil spots. We haven't done this one before. Yeah. Puddles. Puddle time. <laughs> the long. This deal is fishy. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Your neighbor, Elder Monster Elalia, Elalia, walks slowly in the direction of the brood cave. Elalia, Elalia, who? She's one of your next-door neighbors, but she's much older than you. Months and months. That's a lot in monster time. She has tough scales and eyes of different sizes. Okay. Now, we can watch her walk in the direction of the brood cave, or we could follow her. Well, let's... What do you think? Respect her personal space or stalk behind her? Uh, I think GL Monster is a curious monster. Let's see what she's up to. Yeah, let's follow. She passes down the road. Some of the other elders nod to her. They then go to, to her hovel and start smashing things. Ask an elder what's going on, or eh, it's none of your business, really. Ask an elder what's going on. We're curious. What are you guys doing? Greed Blitz stops tearing apart Elalia's dining room table and says she feels herself beginning to dissolve. She's going to release herself and become one with the slime and the spawning vat. Oh, this leads us down some monster lore. What happens when monsters dissolve themselves? Monsters who get to a certain age either settle into their personality and shape forever, or they let themselves become one with the slime from which they came. Their personality can have an effect on the future generations of monsterlings. Touching. Ah, New Game Plus. Yeah. Greed Blitz stops tearing up. Okay, yeah. So we can join the monsters clearing out our hovel or run after Elalia and thank her for her contribution. Hmm? You think thinker? Hello? Let's thank her. You're going to be remembered, Elalia, and. We'll see a bit of you in every monster link from now on. Lelia wipes a slimy tear from one of her smaller eyes and sniffs. Get, give her a hug, or we get, tell her a joke. Be Send her completely out. inappropriate. Tell her a joke. A joke? Let's tell her a joke. I got a pun for you. This is a goo thing you're doing. Well, so I hear you're going to the slime pit, huh? Well. Uh, them, them's the pits. Uh, 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 go die. You ask, what did the talking wolf say the bear? Elalia pauses, raises six of her eyebrows, and waits for the answer. Grand Cheater made another gif. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fart monster. Windows. Uh... You realize you don't have a punchline, but before the silence can grow awkward, her ears fall off. Huh. <laughs> Lelia waves goodbye to you and resumes her walk to the brood cave. You never see her again. Oh. Explore the whale mist. Let me see. Let's go for monster track. You and Nash Nash encounter the proud bear. This is an honor, and a problem. The proud bear has killed monsters. Something rare in the animal kingdom. He stares at you. We could consider the bear. 
formulate a plan of attack, nod cordially and leave, or flee, leaving Nash Nash behind. Hmm. Waiting on more suggestions. I agree with Crimson. Cordially. Hmm. Hmm. Let's consider. The bear is so potent that it deserves capital letters when being referred to. He shines from within, radiating a light invisible to the eye, but plain to the heart. Let's nod cordially and leave. This is... This is a respectful critter. The bear doesn't move. You go back the way you came. That's a pretty hardcore bear. Hmm. Let's pick the ghost monster. A small pack of elder monsters are huddled at the edge of the omen, watching the woods and discussing something in hushed tones. Let's listen in. Elder Hamrag is saying, This could simply be a rumor. We don't know they're out there for sure. Could leave it be or ask what's going on. I think I know this is a curious Geopster. What's going on? Hamrag says some of the younger monsters have seen others in the whale mist. Monsters from no town we know of. Thin and cold. Without food or shelter. Suggest everyone be on guard? Offer to host any homeless monster in your hovel, or promise you'll remember the warning. Oh, we should we should have some homeless monsters to be cool folk. Offer them your couch. Yeah. Couch surfing monsters. Elders are impressed by your unusual offer. They look at each other, then shift their conversation the same direction. Strange monsters come into Omen now, they won't be met with violence. Okay. See, we got some clout. Let's see. Choose an adventure. Paw! Duh. You show your newest collection of human artifacts to your neighbors. They seem suitably impressed and listen in. Let's say more. Truth is, you just found them in the woods, but everyone seems so interested, it would be a shame to let them down. Monsters do love a story, so you could stretch the truth. You could tell a big lie, tell them we tricked a human, tell a little lie to keep things interesting, or just tell them the straight truth. Found them in the woods. Yeah, just found them in the woods. What do you all think? Uh. A little lie. Yeah, let's be playful. Let's do a little lie. You tell, you tell how a talking fox. Those nuisances are everywhere lately. Tried to beat you in a riddle contest with the artifacts as the prize. I won the contest by biting his head off. How they react? Everyone seems to believe you. They nod in admiration. Okay. See what was this? Yeah, we're we're like at ninety nine honesty. We can afford to lose one of those. Let's explore. And this is when you start <laughs> compromising your morals for political. Yep. Gain. Uh huh. You're bringing home a human coat you found hanging on a tree when you see a cat waving at you. Cats are bad news. Get out of here. We could wave back to that fine feline. Cats are bad news. <laughs> cats are assholes, typically. What do you think of the monster world? Do you think cats are still assholes? Oh, absolutely. It's like the cat king from that Nino Cooney. <laughs> well, let's just wave back. The cat, cat the cat hasn't done anything to us yet. At least we can we can maybe we can maybe eat him. The cat is standing on his hind legs, wearing human boots. Wait a minute. And indeed, is covered in human clothing artifacts. Save me, he cries, pointing to a wolf who has him cornered. Get the wolf! Another talking animal? Sure, why not? Tear it to shreds. We could attack the wolf cautiously. Something's not right. Or we could, uh, talk some sense into everyone. No, 
it's it's a trick. He's gonna take your stupid coat. Hmm. Another talking animal?